Let's move over to Pulse Chain real quick. So uh, the, the narrative really around Pulse with this huge dip that we've seen over the weekend is, and, and you can kind of see it just reading the tea leaves, like because, especially because Bitcoin and Ethereum were just dropping like lead balloons, basically. Pulse Chain wasn't really. It was kind of just hanging out, maybe, you know, slightly trickling down. Then actually late Sunday, it rallied in comparison, like while ETH was you know, barely at 2000 anymore. Pulse was actually rallying a little bit. And you, I, and some other folks were talking about it. And it's like, well, I mean, we're already ravaged to hell. You know what I mean? We've already been here. This is a double bottoming for Pulse. We've already been way down here. And you'd love to say that sellers have to be exhausted at this point. There's none left and everything like that. I've learned on this show and in this market and in life, really, to not pretend I know anything or make any guarantees (laughs) or (laughs) because uh, they'll just be broken, of course. But um, you you would certainly think all the things I just said. um, And we hadn't seen that kind of similar bearish action on Pulse. Um, we did see it get back into the threes today uh, or the other day, even four zeros on uh, a three, eight or three, seven, I think it went down to. And then today we pretty much did revisit already or are on the precipice of revisiting the exact lows of August a year ago, uh, August of 2023. Um, I distinctly remember them. I remember waking up uh, in the middle of the night to go down and try to buy. And um that's kind of where we are now. So we got pulse at four zeros and pretty much a three, five. It looks like some buyers kind of stepped in when we, dipped below this about two, three hours ago, I saw. Uh, not doesn't mean they'll stick around. Uh, Pulse X is just dipped under two, so it's at four zeros and a 197. Incentive is under $2 now, $1.90. Hex, I, I don't know if this is a new all-time low or it was very close to it anyway, but 00437. And Ehex is lost to zero, so it's at triple zero nine nine five nine, but it's basically at a tenth of a penny there. So here we are again. Uh, we're at the bottom. Now, w- one thing that's very interesting, and I said this to you and our other friend the other day, uh, it's funny because a lot of people, if you remember a year ago and you were looking at your portfolio USD value, you may notice today, as long as you've continued to DCA or not do anything weird or anything like that, um, that your portfolio is kind of up rather significantly from wherever it may have been when Pulse was at its lows before. And a lot of that is because Pulse X is about a 2X up from where it was the last time this was happening. Pulse X, few may remember, had another zero on the front of it um, when we when we had Pulse at these prices right now. Yeah. So that's incredible. And I think that's what's really something, something that's cool. It's holding everything up. But either way, we're down here again, double bottoming. We've been in this range for a while. What do you think? I mean, you know, do you think we go lower? How long do you think we stay here? We, we certainly don't want to be closing at these numbers too often, but what do you make of this, Ewok? Well, I mean, I see I see the, the levels being kind of protected. I, I just, I don't know. I, until it breaks through this, uh, this bottom of the 3301-ish area, that's, I think, the last very bottom that we had. Uh, yeah. Pretty much four zeros, 3300, pretty much. Um, as long as that level gets protected, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I think a lot of people have that level set with buy orders. Um, I, I think there are still some sellers that have weak hands. Um, I don't know that we've shaken everybody out yet. Or otherwise, we'd be going up. I mean, you know, I know there's a, a lot of, there's people trying, right? You know, you see this whole series of candles here. There was a lot of buys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine days in a row. We only had one red candle. So, you know, there is bullish sentiment there. Um, and I think this is just traders that are trying to play the game because we're not ready to go up yet. So um I I, I don't think so. I, I think this is pretty much like that, like I said, that thirty three hundred level should be the bottom but you know of course i say that and it'll bust right through it so yeah yeah um it just it looks like it's it's fairly well defended so we can hope that trend stays uh, the one that did kind of go down the most i think is probably incentive right i um, think you're right yeah that was close to three dollars and we're down to a dollar 89 now so um Let's yep. take a look at the chart real quick. I just want to see kind of what happened here. Because, again, I said I've been out of the loop the last um, – yeah, that was a that was a nice cascade yeah. here from, what, 
August. Oh, these are 15 minute chart. Hang on, let me get the daily here. <laughs> I was like, why is that so? Yeah, yeah. yeah not I the mean, best. well, from the second through today, which is five days of a lot of down. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yep, well, it's it, it's taken a beating a bit, but uh, not not cleared that other most recent bottom zone anyway. So yeah, but it has seen no, some. Nope, that bottom here. yeah that bottom zone was about dollar seventy dollar seventy one uh, for this this local bottom here. So again, as long as we don't make a lower low, and you know this one can run pretty quickly. There's um, there's easily. Um, enough people that can can buy this up if there's not an oa involved with the um incentive token and i think there's enough liquidity in there to allow it to to run fairly fast too when people start jumping on board so mm -hmm. again if we don't hit that dollar 70 dollar 71 mark i think i think we'll we'll hold here too but yeah yeah i would think that that would make sense as well um I'm hoping that we just hang out at these prices, obviously. I don't want to make any guarantees, of course. Uh, it's not like we know anyway, but um, it'd be nice to pretty much just hang here and continue to DCA. I mean, I feel like we, we can probably be paid, you know, not that you have to necessarily rush to get into these prices or anything, but maybe be patient here for a little while and get in at these. And, you know, uh, it depends on the kind of investor you are. I mean, if you want more of a confirmation from BTC and ETH here by the weekend or something like that, I would understand it. Um, I'm the type of person that, you know, when I have cash coming in and the prices are still auto buy prices, it's hard for me to not buy, you know what I mean? Like it, especially yeah. here right now. I mean, we're literally a calendar year on from the previous all time low and we're here again. I mean, like I'm, I'm going to buy that if it goes down 20%. Okay. I mean, that that has happened to me maybe uh infinite amount of times. So I don't think there's right. ever been a time where I bought and the price went up. So uh yeah, I mean it's, <laughs> it's, but um yeah, just uh however you want to DCA into this market. But yeah, I think we'll probably hang out here for a bit. I don't know, I'm not sure about time, but we want to the thing is there's just so much volatility right now. We want to see where the greater crypto market kind of goes, you know. Um, especially ETH. I mean, we want to see if it starts to recover here. So